All right, hi there class. Uh, welcome to a brand new unit. This is unit two where we're going to be talking about integers, which is basically just uh, dealing with positive and negative numbers. Um, all right, we're going to start off with 2.1 and today we're going to learn about representing integers. So on the side here, don't forget to put your name and today's date. Okay, so uh, one of the ways that we can represent integers is uh, we can represent them with little dots. So for example, um, if I wanted to represent um, uh, a positive integer, I could just make like a little yellow dot like this and think of that as my positive number. And uh, we'll use red dots as our negatives. So for every little yellow dot you see, that will be like a plus one. And for every little red dot you see, that will be a negative one. Okay, so if we need to represent um, the integer plus three in the simplest way possible, well, the, the simplest way to do that would be to have three yellow dots. Okay, if each one of those is like a little plus one, then they would all sort of add up to make a plus three. Now, one thing to keep in mind with integers is that uh, when we have a positive here, often we don't uh, write that. So positive three plus three is just the same thing as three. If you don't see any symbol out front, then it's just positive. Okay, so now we have to draw three more models of plus three using zero pairs. So um, one, the simplest way I should say, the simplest way of showing plus three is to just write the three yellow dots, but I could have instead drawn uh, four yellow dots. And if I leave that alone, that's gonna be plus four, but if I then add one red dot, then you can see what happens here is this little plus one and this minus one are gonna cancel each other out. And this is what we call a zero pair. One positive and one negative cancel each other out. If those two cancel each other out, then what are we left over with? Well, I guess we're just left over with these three positives, which is plus three. So, um, whenever you have a positive and negative dot that cancel each other out, they're called a zero pair. And that's just because they add up to zero. Okay, let's draw one more model of, uh, of plus three. Let's say I was to do, I don't know, six yellow dots. Four, five, six. If I want this to represent plus three, then I would also have to have three little red dots, three little negatives. In this example, I would have three zero pairs, one, two, three, and those all cancel each other out. And what I'm left over with is three positives, which would be my plus three. So what pattern do you notice? Um, I guess we can draw our, our positive three integer. We can draw that a whole bunch of different ways. As long as there are three more, positive dots then negative so I could draw I could go on forever here I could draw like a million and three yellow dots and then a million red dots and that would still just represent the integer three so the next question how many ways could you represent the same in integer literally uh, there's an unlimited amount And then the math, what we say is infinite. There's an infinite number of possible ways to represent this. Okay, so we're gonna use dots to model the following numbers in two different ways each. So uh, the first one I'm gonna do is negative four. Uh, the simplest way to model negative four would be to just draw four negatives. Two, three, four. That's my sort of my simplest possible solution. But there's lots of other ways to do it. For example, what if I was to have, I don't know, seven red dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, if I had seven negatives, how many positives would I need to add in here to balance that off? One, two, three. So I've got my zero pairs here, and then my my four negatives that are sort of on their own at the end. All right, if we want to do positive seven, the simplest possible way to do that would be to just draw seven 
positive dots. Five, six, seven. But I could do it other ways. For example, maybe if I had nine positives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine positives. Well, if I have nine positives, then I would need to have two negatives. One, two negatives. And those two zero pairs cancel out. I'm left with positive seven. All right, that's it for 2.1. Don't forget to do the recap.